on a hunt. On a hunt. Where? Oh, there it is. There it is. Come on now. Now I only, I only found the left shoe, so. <laughs> I only found the left shoe, so I gotta go find the right shoe. By the way, this is today's uh, tripod. Right, right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shall we go, let's go, let's go yellow today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's been a busy spring. I got work to do this week. Piles, piles. <laughs> oh man. How's your spring cleaning going, everybody? Hope it's going better than mine. But we're gonna get it, we're gonna get it done. Okay, out the door we go. Oh my goodness, I almost forgot the, was it the left shoe or the right shoe? Time to go into the archive. Oh man, Max Road 4 Plus, everybody. The 6 is on its way. I know many of you have already bought it. Max, every, who did not like the Max Road 5? That, not the question of the day, but Max Road 4. Oh, throwback right there. Okay, let's see. Oh my goodness. Remember, oh, the Stinson, the Stinson 3. That is not today's easy day shoe. That would be the trail option. All right, I'm trying to find, trying to find it here. I know it's, I know it's out here. Mm -hmm. Oh, the, oh, the travels they've gone through. On, I love you. Keep, keep, keep working. That shoe was a doozy. A oh, little ride nine. Oh my goodness, I love it. So, th oh, the razor. Oh my goodness, the razor. What's this? This is a Clifton. What Clifton? Who can have? Who can forget the original OG Atreyu? That might be a collector item someday right there. Oh yeah, the Boston 9. Oh, before it changed, before it changed so, so much. And the original Nova. Come on now, come on, come on. But I'm not finding the shoe I'm looking for here. Oh. <laughs> Go watch that vlog, upper right hand corner. Go do it. Old school time trial. Oh, I see it. I see it. I've been told many times, don't plant flowers in Colorado outside before May 10th. Mother, well, basically Mother's Day. Because we can get cold snaps right up until, I've seen it snow up in the mountains in July. But, I, looking at the weather, we might be out of the woods. It looks like we're 70s the rest of the week here in Denver, upper 60s. It's like, see, last summer, I missed it. I missed most of the summer there you go. outdoor Come on. Come on. running DGR season style. because of the injury. So I am just, it's like, I'm just, I'm yearning to go run, you know, with no jackets, no tights, no hats, no gloves. I know I still will, up, especially when I go up in the mountains, but oh, it's, it's those little gifts that we receive as runners where we're just so grateful to get the fresh air, to get the blue skies, to get the sun on our shoulders. I, I don't know, I, it, it, makes it, it makes all the hard work worth it when you can be out there doing, the, uh, doing what we love to do, doing the running. Oh boy, I'm, uh, it's uh, hard to contain everybody.
vintage, classic, classical, historical, ancient, antique, old. <laughs> we're all getting old. We're all getting older. All right. What, what other descriptive uh, word am I am I missing here about these shoes? Wow. That was fun. Oh man. Throwback. Throw, but actually, cutie, your favorite easy day running shoe ever. Just let it rip, all right? Let it rip in the comments. Hey, you got, maybe it's from the 1980s. Maybe it's from the 1990s. Maybe it's even older than that. And maybe it's an easy day shoe you're training in right now. That's a fair answer as well. I just looked it up, December 2018. That's how long we've been doing shoe reviews on this channel now granted the uh the shoe reviews have changed a lot in the last five years but that's it that's throwback everybody we're not just uh we're not young ch spring chickens anymore here in the studio but indeed now the shoe company and the shoe has changed a lot so the overarching umbrella company is the vf company so think of vans think of smart wool think of the north face think of Ultra, A-L-T-R-A, that's right, the Zero Drop Company, uh, back in the day, back in the day, knit upper, uh, zero drop, simpler midsole material, it's changed a lot in the last, uh, especially the last three years, and granted, it's been sitting in the garage, it's been sitting in the old studio at the old house, it's and so slice. the midsole didn't quite have the, oh, wow. the liveliness understep, but oh wow. my my, the Ultra, Torin 3.5. When I put this is why I hold on to old running shoes. Just for even just for the sake of like my personal uh, trip down memory lane, it, it was like a flashback to when the channel had five thousand. I think we had five thousand, less than five thousand subscribers on the channel. So we're talking. Wh if you have been subscribed for less than five thousand subscribers, raise your hand down in the comments. I appreciate you. You you've stuck with us this long. So. There it is, in all its glory, the Ultra Torrent 3.5, really my favorite easy day running shoe in the, really ever. Now, granted, sh shoes have come a long ways in the last five years, but that knit upper, zero drop, I love it for easy days, stretch out the soleus, the Achilles tendon, even that fascia on the bottom of the foot, just a little more on those easy days. Mad respect to anybody that races in zero drop. I don't know how you do it. Today was a reminder, like, oh my goodness, I could never uh, I could never race in zero drop, but respect if you do, and there you have it. Can't wait to read your comments down below. Speaking of comments, comment of the day today, Propel, where is it? Oh, I think it's actually sitting right down there. Propel V4, $109. Everybody, I'm telling you, well, I'll just read it. Here we go, Doc2488. You get the comment of the day. I've been running in the Propels for a while now. Got about 32K on them. Totally love it. Very versatile shoe that feels good across for almost any pace, which I agree with. Felt good for bopping along. It felt good kind of picking up the pace, you know, that tempo pace. Um, he goes on to say, or she, I'm not sure, if the weight was down a bit, would pretty much be the perfect budget do-it-all shoe. And the, the rest of the uh, comment is there on the screen if you want to read it. I'm telling you, it could be a game changer, New Balance. If you can drop even just one ounce, you don't have to go below eight ounces in my size. Get it down to like 8.2 to 8.5 ounces in my size. You're, and don't bump the price up too much. Like if you're at 109 right now, brand new, if it goes up to 115, that's fine. 119, it, but 109, keep it there. You're gonna, you're gonna blow, you're gonna, you're gonna sell like hotcakes. Hotcakes, I tell you, New Bow. So good work, Doc, 2488, you get to comment of the day. Onward we go. All right, we'll toss it to, of course, the Torin 3.5. Torin 3.5, right there. Oh, love y'all. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.